Sha Taf Kuf Pevav. Yafasha. So Rabbi Yafasha, very interesting what the Yafasha has to say to me. He should be Bir Khan the Fidarko now. The Hydra Basod Hamalachim and the Kwaim Ofim. Hayotzi Vizivog and the Shikim Ain Sham. So this has to do with the mouth. It has to do with the yichud that takes place there. And he says that's creation of these malachim. But the Zechabibir Kanki Lishon, the word Lishon, instead of Lashon, Lishon is kind of Aramaic eyes that we said before. Who so the Zivug the Nishikim. So actually the concept of the tongue is really dealing with the concept of Nishikim. Shana'asa Yedakav Lashon, that the yichud that actually takes place in Nishikim has to do with the the yichud of the chech and the goron, al yidei, the, the, the tongue. The masha amba mamala ravavim, and where it says that it's going to speak, uh, it speaks this concept called ravavim. Hain the besod ha dibra ha elyon, because it's talking about the place for the work where, where this comes, comes from. Ha dibra ha elyon, the zivug de nishikim, which is a result of the, uh, of the yichud of nishikim. Shinivroim and men of malachim, that also these malachim, which we would like to learn that a little bit more, what he means by the malachim are created at this time. Uh, I always think of malachim as agents of, like messengers or channels. Now, let's, that, that was number 21, and we're down at the bottom on number 21. And he said, Behosiv shaman, so he, he, uh, he adds on to this, Shahaloshin miyache gam chokhmarabibina. So it makes a yichud also with chokhmarabibina, shah rosh v'leiv. So here's a new a new phrase. I don't know if, how new it is, but the concept of the rosh and the heart. So he said, "Ha rosh hu chachma v'haleiv is bina." So how does that work out? So he wants to say the chachma, okay, and the leiv is bina. You can see how the heart is; it distributes all the blood. So you can see, well, that would be bina. So uh, how do you get though? We don't understand that in Eric Anpin, the uh, the bina is in the throat. So how does he get to the heart? That's my question. But at any rate, he doesn't deal with it. And he says, V'aleiv hu bina. Zel d'shom d'shom. Now let's quote. He says, Hu masha kasa rabbeinu ve'etzchayim. He says, Shom. Gam shemat echa b'mori zecha b'ofen acher. I heard a different way from from the Rav. He said, V'hu shachachoch ba'atzba hu ha'hich. Okay. No, we say that a lot of times. Bahagoran hu habina, that's what I said. Bahaloshan hu machriya bain time, and the loshan is in between the two of them. Bahu hadas, which is the das, shabo chachma that has with shabain chachma the bina. Shahu bris haloshan. Now, there's another phrase, uh, maybe we know this, the bris of the loshan. Now, why? Because it acts like, why do we say that? Because it, I, I'm just saying my answer is, is that because it, it, uh, represents yisod. It's yisod between those two. It acts the same way. So he calls it bris loshon. That's my answer. And this is the, oh, so that's what he says. He says that the yisod is that uh, the agent of, the, of yichud. So therefore, I, that's, I guess, the concept of why you put the concept of bris in there. Uh, bris means lots of, lots of different things to me. So now we're saying, okay, chachma's in the rosh. Vachavibina belave belave. So the his kamosha amru like he has a pasuk in where is this? Okay, that's in the Zohar. Bina liba uba halev mevin. Okay, so this is the this. I, what's in the heart? The passion of a person, the, the desires of a person, uh, what he wants to do, maybe. Nimsa. So it comes out like this. Uh, uh, hadas, bris mazavik chachma bina. So that's why we say the, we say loshen abris. Ad kan Okay, so I didn't make up anything new. I guess I looked at this before. Maybe it was in my mind. I'm just trying trying to understand the the uh, understand it better. 
שלשון דבי הלוש ומאחורז בין האחיך ובעליון ותחתון ובין הלב והמוח. So there was something there in this about the heart, but the question is, I don't think that it told us anything particularly new and exciting, just verified it. Now we have number Kof Bet. Kof Bet says, uh, now, look at the Riaf Shah of the Asham Vazel Lashono. He said, V'noi demasha kasad Rabbeinu Zal, kol diba v'diba shayat v'piv, shal ha-kodesh baruchu nivru b'mena maluch echot. So here you have the situation where you have to understand what it means, the Dibur of a Kodesh Baruch Hu. Uh, so so what, what does it actually mean? Hutsi uh, I mean, exactly what it is. He says that this is Kodesh Baruch Hu, Nibroch Echad. Echot. V'zecha she'amad m'mala ravavim. That's what it means when you take the word m'mala ravavim, because you're really worrying about the word ravavim. What mean? What does it mean? Yotzi v'mena malach in Kedoshim. Because the Ravavim, maybe, that's what he means, is that they're the holy Malachim. So you see this also in the Eitzchayim. This is what the Rabbi is saying. That's a repeat of that same idea. The Indian is like this. Where do Malachim come from? He says they're created from a yichud that takes place, which is a yichud completely ruchni, ha elyon ha zen. In other words, it comes from the neshikin of the yichud that takes place between the heich and the goron. Whether you're talking about the the goron is the lave or uh, that that's the idea. Somehow the throat is correct is connected. He wants to say it's connected in somehow because I'll just throw my answer on. It says because the heart is the the passion is coming from the heart. The desire is coming from the heart, and as it moves upwards, it reaches the throat. And the throat wants, wants to speak like that. So he says, uh, which is the, the yichud of neshikin. So going back, if you wanted to know where malachim come from, he actually gave an answer there. He said it comes from the yichud that takes place in the heich and the goron of Erekanpin. So let's go on to the next one. Here's a number of vav. This is the Zohar Chai. Look over there, he says, Khan. Shebir bekan ba'orech levidar kol ha'el, which I can never remember what it is yet. Besod ach secha ba'bedata klilin do bedo, which is really chachma and bina become to get, coming together with sheyesh the zer v'nukva. Oh, so got it all wrong. So it doesn't talk about chachma and bina. According to the uh, Zohar Chai, we're talking here about zochah v'nuk. The Shorshim El Yonim, but what we we'll want to know by the about them is that they have a root up above Ba'aba Ba'ima Ayn Sham. But the Zakh Bahoisi the Bayer comes, so now he's coming over here and he'll explain it like this. Shiesh the Zer Anpa the Zer Vanuk, a Shorshim Gam Ba'erik Anpin. So this is a theme I think he brings down here, and I think this is the Khidish that he wants to go after, but who sowed a tamim. This is the secret of the Tameh that are up above the letters Shoshim Bekasser Shuhu Erek Anpin, which really have a root in Erek Anpin. Ba'akorah b'torah b'nekuda, so you're a, you're a Balkore. So he said, Ba'akorah, but when you're, when you're reading the Torah, b'nekuda v'tamim, you put the nekudas and the Tameh in, the Tameh in, ma'orach ha'shorash ha'elion, what's happening is, is that you're arousing the upper, the upper root. Uh, in those places going backwards. First it's Abba Ve'ima, and later on, I guess maybe in the in the explanation down below, which we'll get to next time, that's a shame. Um, that there's, they're there also, that Abba Ve'ima, and inside of Abba, is inside of Zohar Venuk, and inside of them is also Eric Anpin. And all the lights that are up above here, they're calling a ravavim. That is the root lights. So this is what we're talking about, the tongue that is able to bring out, speak out, ravavim. These, these oros that are coming from very, very high place. I am Shom. And there's a little bit of a on that down below, and we'll do it again tomorrow, Mitzvah